Hey, I'm Alden, and I wanted to share with you today as I'm going to transplant my little tomato plant into a little pot, which it's sitting in right now. And yeah, um, I got this tomato plant um, just walking down the street. One of my neighbors left out some tomato plants in a little box, and it just said, you know, free, free tomato plants, and I thought that was really sweet. And the first time I saw uh, that, I didn't, I didn't take it, but then they put out more and I was like, yeah, I, you know, the first time I was kind of like, oh, maybe I should have taken the tomato plant, you know? And um, so, yeah, it's doing really well, uh, especially, you know, just given the climate and everything here near LA. And so, yeah, I'm just going to get some dirt and put it in the pot and, um, you know, it's a really nice, like, kind of therapeutic experience when you're having um, a lot come up. And I know for me, I don't know, I just felt more kind of stressed and a lot of feelings coming up today. <laughs> I mean, that happens, feelings coming up. Like, when doesn't that happen? But, but yeah, um, it just felt like um, a really nice activity, and it's nice right now with like more of the quarantine and then like where I am there's now a, a curfew which I mean I wasn't really going anywhere to be honest anyway but um yeah just there's still like a feeling in the air of just feeling kind of like you know on lockdown so it's nice to really like get outside even if that's just in my own space and then embrace what it is that I do have more and I feel like that that helps it helps you receive more when you're truly utilizing what it is you're already being given. And yeah, I'm noticing all these places where I could really utilize more of my space and yeah, even, you know, in the backyard too. So I'm gonna get some dirt and um, put on some gloves, I think, because I'm probably gonna do a card reading later and I don't want like, you know, dirt all over my hands. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm gonna go get some dirt. So yeah, I thought I thought I was recording, but the camera stopped to give me a curfew notification. <laughs> so um, yeah, I uh, went ahead and I took the plant out of this plastic. You just pop it right out, so that was cool. And the tomato plant has some dirt around it, as you can see. I'm just going to put some more dirt. Um, yeah, and I have some nice organic soil here. It is a little bit dry. So I'm going to have to well, add some water for one thing. Um, but yeah, that is probably about the right amount of that I want in this pot here. And um, so there it is, you know? Now we've transplanted the tomato plant. Oh, well, I have. And um, it looks already like, hey, you know, make sure that you are stabilizing me, right? So I can even, of course, like add a little popsicle stick if I want to, but I may not need to. Oh, there's like a loud motorcycle or something. Um, and yeah, that's really cool. So that's done with. And I also, yeah, I wanted to show you this heart bench too, because it was um, something that I got just that was a uh, freebie, you know, in the neighborhood, um, on the street, on the curb, totally, like, definitely, like, take me. And I was really surprised because I don't usually take things anymore. I used to be a little bit more uh, adventurous, I guess. Like when I, uh, I don't know, like was just living more of that kind of uh, urban lifestyle. But anyway, um, yeah, this it's a heart little stool bench, whatever you want to, I guess, stool. And it's really sturdy, and it's it could use like another paint job, but. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet thing, and I thought it was a really nice sign, like, to just kind of see that, and, um, and it gave me a little workout for my arms, too, <laughs> which I needed, um, 
yeah, so I've been inside a lot editing videos, and so it's always nice to be like, oh yeah, I kind of like need something extra there, and then you always receive that. So that's cool. And um, the other thing I wanted to do is get some roses from up above here. And I probably don't need these gloves anymore. They're just kind of like, uh, you know. Um, and I'm, of course, I'm going to also water the tomato plant in a few minutes. In fact, I think what I'm going to do, just because like it's sitting here, I'm just going to use some of this water and then I can refill the, the vase with more water for the roses. Um, yeah, that should be more than enough. And hopefully this, this bottom part might flood. We'll see flooded on me a few minutes ago. It was interesting. Um, because there was water in it already. Didn't realize. So, I have my clippers here. And I actually have a nice rose right here above us. So you can see it. Now what I like to do is just trim some of the, you know, leaves off. Um, yeah, the leaves off. I was watching this thing about voice inflection, and I definitely do that where I, I tend to end my sentences like, oh, like, um, with the cadence, you know, going up instead of down. So it's interesting because as I've been working on that the last, like, day and a half, I actually noticed, like, I feel more like, grounded and confident, too. So it's not just about, like, I don't know, faking it till you make it kind of thing. It's like sometimes you have to do the outer thing. Um, like, you know, if it's time to exercise, it, it doesn't mean that you can't do something else and feel better, but you know when it's just time and then your energy is gonna feel better too, like your inner energy and you're, you probably feel more peaceful. Um, and so yeah, I noticed that working on this cadence thing some more um, and I'm like doing it right now as I'm saying the sentence, um, but yeah, it actually is like, mm, you know, it's grounding, it's good. So, yes, a little rose there and a little rose bud, and, um, I don't know if you know this, but roses are all, um, well, they're all edible. I mean, you don't really, like, usually eat roses, but, like, if you want to make rose tea or put it on your skin, like, if you want to, if you have roses and they're not sprayed and you want to, like, boil them or make a distillate and, you know, have rose water, um, it's really nice. And then rose hips, too, are, are really full of vitamin C. I personally don't love rose hip oil. It's, like, very popular, but I do like rose hips, and, um, yeah, like, they they go well in a lot of teas too and they have different properties like that vitamin c whereas the rose itself is more just like it's kind of like nutritive astringent it's very heart opening right energetically i think we all probably know that but well maybe not but yeah i mean you you see a rose and it's like wow you know you just get that kind of romantic feeling i think um so there's another one oh, right here oops Raining roses, raining love, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna clip this off too, and it's so sweet, you know, it's got like these two little buds here, it's just like a really nice rose bush that just goes super well in this climate, and my cat is just chilling right here, I would, I would pick her up and say, you know, have her say hello, but she's like very content so you probably let her be yeah she wants to say hi so you can maybe hear her um so yeah next i'm gonna go above and get some roses because oops those ones are gone so let's see got this one here Try not to get this, these leaves on you, Luna. Well, I'm sure I can not get them on you. It's easy to here. So, yeah. This one is a little bit, mm, now that I'm 
looking at it. But we'll, we'll make use of it. It's fine. Okay. Just gonna in there without hurting the roses. Um, Cause they are a little bit fragile, like the petals, especially if it's like really in full bloom. I notice they'll tend to shed and um, yeah, of course they make like a nice little moment, you know, if you want to throw rose petals on something, right? And I'll do this one too. Yeah, it's nice. You know, they're all so similar, but of course, if you look at each individual flower, it has its own little, own little thing going on. Flowers are so happy. Um, and it smells really good too. I noticed these roses smell more at night. So yeah, this is like a really good way. I'm gonna put this one, um, maybe just a single rose in this lovely jam jar. Um, but yeah, I noticed roses are a really good way to romance myself. And I mean, who doesn't like flowers? Doesn't everyone like flowers, right? So if there's something that grows really easily where you are, I really suggest um, going with that. And um, sometimes it's, you know, it's just easy to go with the flow. Same thing with this tomato plant. I was like, wow, it's like one of the things that's doing the best out of the little wildflowers and stuff that I planted in pots recently. And I mean, you know, they do, they go, they do really well in like a Mediterranean kind of climate. So it makes sense. And, um, yeah, it's nice to like master growing things, of course. And I'll be honest, I'm an awesome herbalist, but I'm not the best gardener. Like personally, my green thumb, like, I'm not sure why, but, uh, like I'm excellent at, at plants, like, how to put them together, what they're for, sitting with them energetically and being with them. But um, when it comes to, you know, going beyond the basics of gardening, it's not, it's just never been like my strong suit. Of course, like the more I practice, the better I get, right? But um, anyway, yeah, um, it's it's nice to, to go the easy route sometimes and simplify your, life, you know, especially if you're busy, and maybe not do the complicated thing if you think you really want to grow a certain kind of thing. I mean, do that, but also do the the easy thing that's going to be also really satisfying, and it, it helps build your confidence, too, at least like mine, with gardening and stuff like, oh, hey, look, <laughs> this is growing, and, um, and if you want to be able to you know, pick your roses or pick your tomatoes, then yeah, you can choose plants that help you with that. And, um, yeah, so it's a little bit of a different style video for my <laughs> Twin Flame channel, but it's, it's fun to just share like the everyday kind of what's spiritual, like in the everyday moments and, um, how we all kind of can go deeper with that. And we don't need to like get all high all the time or like spiritually, I mean, when, when, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, moment to moment stuff can be really satisfying and, and still be like a high state, but also just like grounding too. And um, yeah, it feels good. So um, yeah, you can like, share, subscribe, check out the links below. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.